The American Gaming Association released new numbers for state tax revenue generated by sports gambling right here in Massachusetts and outlines where that money ends up. 22 News reporter Duncan McLean spoke with local leaders and has the details. $127 million in brand new spending money amassed in state bank accounts over the last year thanks to parlays and prop bets all over the Commonwealth. So where does it all go? The largest portions go to the state's general fund and to the Gaming Local Aid Fund, which is eventually distributed to cities and towns as part of their unrestricted government funding. The Senate numbers, about a $128,000 increase to our unrestricted local aid. It's for everything. It helps offset the general operation of the town. So it's police funding, fire, library, health everything, senior center, it all goes into the pot that helps pay for the local services that we have here in the community. Beyond general spending, a little bit goes to youth programming and some to workforce development, and 11 million goes to the Public Health Trust Fund. That Public Health Fund, a major selling point of legalizing sports wagering, contributing to programs that help alleviate some of the negative societal effects. Among those programs, the state's problem gambling hotline, which has seen an increase in call volume since sports betting went live according to new data released by the Department of Public Health on Wednesday. The new report indicates that the helpline saw a 121 percent increase in total calls in fiscal year 2023, including 362 calls resulting in referrals specifically for outpatient treatment. Of those callers, 73 reported sports betting as their reason for calling, compared to only six such calls in fiscal year 2022. But the DPH says as part of the report, there is no evidence that the increase in call volume is a direct result of an increase in problem gambling in the state. It's more likely due to improvement in services and coordination with public awareness campaigns. References to the hotline are required in any advertisements for sports betting, which flooded the market during this time of measurement. Working for you, Duncan McLean, 22 News.